come on in here. That's just a monitor we like to show for fancy stuff. Look at that. A lot snow of snow dripping, coming down. Dripping, falling. In Sevier County, mm -hmm. the snow uh, was a welcome sight for athletes competing in the Special Olympic Winter Games at Obergallenburg. And Emily DeVoe takes us to the big competition. The winter weather may make for slushy conditions for drivers, but here at Obergallenburg, it makes for the perfect conditions for the Special Olympics Winter Games. Yes, Adam. If there's one word that gets the athletes excited. Snow. It's snow. They were just like, snow, snow, snow. Like, yes, they're more excited about the snow than competition probably, so. Joseph Brown is a Special Olympics coach from Columbia, Tennessee. He says watching the athletes' faces when they're competing is why he volunteers. And that, that's everything for me, you know, so. Robert Jackson has severe autism and before now had never ventured out in the snow. Yesterday he fell, fell, fell. He quit. After lunch he said, I think I want to go again. And then he went like 10 times and didn't fall out once. Now he can't get enough of it. Yeah. For him to do this, it just is the greatest thing in the world for me. Johnny Eden is an athlete and an employee at Obergallenberg. He's practicing to level up in the skiing competition. Like I've only done a few events this year, but I want to become like max, 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 max as I can. The snow might be great for athletes who made the trip, but it caused several teams to cancel. Unfortunately, we did have to have some Special Olympics teams that were affiliated with school districts uh, head back to their, their, where they live. Um, basically, they made the call. They came on, uh, on, public, on the school buses, um, so the superintendent made the call. They had to leave, unfortunately. Uh, but there are about 160 athletes left, and they're going to compete for the gold. The Winter Games wrap up this afternoon with an award ceremony, but of course, everyone here is a winner. Back to you guys in the studio. That's a great thing they do up there, isn't it? And I love that they got to see and experience snow today. A little uh, cherry on top, if you will. Yes, and the slopes were also open to the public this afternoon, so quite a few people there to ski on that fresh powder.